Hello and welcome back to our Fallout 76 Beginner's Walkthrough Guide. This is going to be part 6.1. Due to some technical difficulties, my original part 6 video was lost. So I have created a new test character and I will essentially walk through the same areas as our regular character. Uh, but there will be some differences here as far as how our stats are with our specials and our perk cards because those do tend to come randomly but we'll start off where we left off in part five here at Flatwoods Lookout Tower. Uh, this is a safe place to hang out. There are some settlers that we can talk to may just be conversation. Hey, it's called foundation for a reason. You need a base before you can rebuild society. You know, your help with foundation has really had an impact throughout Appalachia. If the sparks from the ferals don't get you, the rats will. Hey, every little bit counts. As long as we stay focused, Together, we can rebuild Appalachia. So, this, fix that. what he's referencing again. is a settlement known as Foundation. We'll probably not reach Foundation during the time of this walkthrough, beginner's walkthrough, but it's essentially a settlement of settlers uh, working to rebuild the world. And as you can it's see, that little conversation, nice. it added to our affinity with the settler faction. Sometimes the best it's remedy is a big ol' s'more. I'm gonna find myself a fat man and give them raiders a reason to call it crater. Alright. So generally one of these two will give you some kind of quest or bonus. Uh, on my first part six walkthrough, this settler uh, offered me some rad X. Uh, as you can see there's some good beds to sleep in. There's an acoustic guitar to tune up at. Um, let's read this note real quick. This, fix that. Never seem to end. Yeah. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places. All right. Like Talking about a farmhouse to the north. They'll all want to be setting up places like foundation. I hid the duffel underneath the porch by the front door. Please come back to us. So, a little lead on some some possible treasure there. Farmhouse to the north with a duffel bag. Take that plasma cartridge. Nothing there in the stove. Good components in the hot plate. Take that tar berry. Need a fire to keep warm when the sun goes down. Shotgun shells always good. Alarm clock. So we'll go ahead. Further out of wood. More we can help. To the the a little sitting area down here with some goodies. Ooh, a recipe. Fantastic. And then we'll go ahead and climb the lookout tower. Now do this with some care, because it is entirely possible to fall off of this and die.
Take that 10 mil. That should be helpful. Another child's toy, full of lead. Ranger hat to sell. 50 cal round. That could come in helpful later. Now let's see if our scrounger perk works here. walk out here on the balcony we're going to have the option of surveying the area and essentially this will give us the opportunity to add some locations so we've identified 10 new locations now you can only do it once so it's not like each side of the tower will give you the op that opportunity around make sure we didn't miss anything here and let's carefully climb back down I guess I should have while I was up there she referenced a farmhouse to the north so I'm guessing it's going to be that area right over there. Looks like it's there in a bend of the road. So we'll have to swing back by there. Check for a duffel bag under the porch. Now there are no crafting stations here, so no opportunity to scrap or repair. It does look like we are time to eat and drink. Let's see what we've got in the food category. Still sorted in order of spoilage. You have some spoiled vegetables. We're going to keep them because that turn can easily turn into Might as well, we don't want to lose this pepperoni roll. Might as well go ahead and eat that to help with the carry weight. And then let's look for some soups. The chili gives us food and water. That's a good one. Maybe a little glowing fungus. We seem to be good. Now let's check. We still have 38 minutes of well rested. But let's take the opportunity to also become it's just about time to eat. Well tuned. And we will go check out the Alpine cabins. The next area on our stop. Should be getting the notification here any minute. There we go. Well tuned. It's time to turn over a new leaf. So our next stop will be the Alpine cabin there. So we go down to the road then head that way. Now 
just here to the right. Make a quick stop off at this household area. Now we haven't talked about this, but this is a crater and this one may have been looted, but these craters will often times have important ores like steel, copper, iron, or particularly lead. Oh, here's a responder corpse with the dead Brahmin, obviously attacked with this feral ghoul. Oh, and some good stuff in this duffel bag. Let's see, we can investigate the house a little bit. Oh, sensing raider activity nearby. Let's go ahead and reload. Oh, I see a crafting station. That's going to come in handy. Thank you very much. Beer bottles, a pipe pistol, and I help with the carry weight there. Make sure nobody's home inside. All right. I have not found any particular use for collecting any of the pool balls. Generally, pass them by. Take a beer to sell. do a little scrapping for mods here. Well, one, let's scrap our junk. Let's go ahead and scrap this 10 mil. All right. This would be a great time to go ahead and upgrade to some level five armor. Uh, no, I've already done that on my regular character, but I've forgotten to do that on this test character here. So let's go back. Scrap some items. Uh, no mod. scrap this bolt pistol. I'm going to save this level 5. And let's craft us ourselves a new set of armor. And this time we're going to Equip all of that. All right. At 
the end of this run. We'll go ahead and look at crafting some level 5 weapons as well. Always check the mailbox. Postman. Always rings twice. So, again, let's now head towards the Alpine River cabins. Which looks like it will be more northwesterly. There, the silhouette. That should be our location right there. Now, this area is generally infested with ghouls and there's also some strange going on in the area as we will see once we start investigating. So I'm going to go ahead and go into a hidden mode, prep our pistol, give us our bonus, come on. Oh, screaming? I'll go ahead and turn off some of these waypoints as well. There we go. Get our XP. This cabin appears to be empty. some activity over there. Let's just double check what's going on here. Anybody home? Nope. Okay. First we'll take care of business, then we'll come back and loot. Oh, there's a wanderer right there. See if that woke up anybody. Get any activity. Uh, he's going to stay in his cabin. Nobody coming out to play. Let's go investigate this cabin. Let's see if we can get close up on the window and get this guy. Oh. He's going to come out and play. Back in the hidden mode. Anybody else in there? Look like that one's been cleared out. Let's see what's going on in this cabin. Don't see anybody home in here. That just leaves this very last cabin down here. Hopefully we can... Oh. Still one. Might just have to go after him in the old-fashioned way. Oh. All right, let's start looting and exploring. Turned over bed, nothing there. 
my favorite tin can or aluminum can. I'm going to leave that antler. We're probably good for bone components. So close to sell. Nope. Oh, it's some random shaking. Pan and campfire. Let's see. Adhesive, always a good thing, especially you'll see when we're repairing and crafting armor and weapons. What could they be complaining about? Hi, this is Gabe Ramses, and I'm leaving this message to inform the Parks and Rec Department of the horrible experience my family and I had this week at the Alpine River Cabins. Look, we were all looking forward to a nice weekend getaway in the wilderness, but between the constant shaking in the cabins, the rodent swarms, and blood-curdling screams, well, I'm more stressed than uh -oh. I was before. My boys were so upset they swore they saw the picture frame spinning on the walls. What's My going on here? Your salaries, so I demand Let's see if we can get him through the window. Bet I'll do my darndest to make sure that money is in someone else's pocket next election. And one more thing. Maybe you could get off your lazy butt to pick up some garbage here. I know all the but that doesn't mean the place has to look like it was just hit with a nuclear bomb. All right, thanks for replenishing our ammo supply there. The nature trail leads that way. It's like this used to be a little bridge over a peaceful stream. See what we have going on here. Read our guest book. Brandon and Lori liked it. The Jefferson family liked it. Let's see, James, Blake, Allison, and Stephanie were bored. Then we have the Taylors, who suddenly start experiencing some strange noises. Then we have Jackson and Beverly Hart experiencing bears and pictures moving on the walls. So it would look like things started to get creepy around 7.15. Hopefully we don't encounter any bears. We're a little bit low level at the moment to be handling a bear. They can do a lot of damage in a short period of time. Oh, and here we have a bobblehead. Fusion cores last 30% longer for one hour. Again, unlike Fallout 4, the bobbleheads do not give permanent buffs, but one hour temporary bonuses. So that's a good one for you power armor users. I believe we've thoroughly looted here. Nothing else under the beds. Now. Come on, thanks for the water. Hey, doors opening and closing all on their own. Go back to the very first cabin, the one containing the safe. Let's see what kind of good stuff we get here. Oh, there's tape. Rita the fire breather. Hey, Rita. So, uh, right now, 
her sleep, enjoying your last peaceful night's rest for God knows how long. I thought I'd record something for you to remember me by while you're locked away inside Charleston Fire Department. Training for the prestigious opportunity to dive face first into a bunch of mine fires with the rest of those fire breather nut jobs. <laughs> Honestly, though, I ain't no responder alive who's a better pick for that crew than you. Just make sure you don't forget the basics with all this fancy new training. Always check your seals, hit stop, drop, then roll. The order's important. And most important, don't come back all crispy. Oh, I would have liked a weapon, but ammo's uh, never a bad thing. What I'm looking at right now. Well, how sweet. And as we know, the they enjoy their stay based on the notes they left in the guest book. So that's pretty much the cabin there. Nothing here in the barbecue pit. But we have all these unexplained phenomena. What could be going on? Explore this little tent site. There's a little outhouse over there. Now, if we follow these power lines, we see an interesting looking tree house here. When we explore the treehouse, I always check this table. In my first playthrough, there was a nice mod there on that table. We see this terminal that we can access. And we can stop the automated sequence of playing sounds, rotating pictures, luring creatures, simulating earthquakes, closing cabin doors. So, I guess if you wanted to sit here and farm, you could continually lure creatures here. No guarantee as to what you would get. But we're going to move on. Let's see. We... Our next stop along the way is going to be in this direction. This relay tower. And the reason for discovering this location will become obvious soon, so we're going to kind of want to head off to the south and the east. It's going to be right there. see some scorched. Let's see how close we can get before we get discovered. Okay, we're back to hidden. Maybe we can work around over here. Get some cover. Alright. This looks like a good spot. Open up from here. Anybody else in the area? It's hard to believe there's just one scope. Oh. Like 
I said, a little hard to believe there's just one scorched. Especially with all this noise we're making. Oh, let's see. There's our scrounger bonus. Got some more armor pieces. IV bag is just plastic. I think we're good there. Ooh, baseball grenade. That'll be good to sell. Let's work our way up to the station itself. Very likely. All right. It's a great thing about the scorched. Is there? Excellent source of weapons. Hard to believe there wouldn't be one more in there somewhere. Alright, there's our XP bonus for discovery. Let's see. What... Nobody? Oh, there he is. Two of them. Alright. Had to go in guns blazing. Do some intense looting. Another thing that you can do is discover locations through maps. So you just kind of hover on and if it gives you the view option see it stayed now we already have that on our map that's why when you press view nothing happens. Let's see what this guy is Alright, map updated there. What's way up here? Black Mountain Ordnance. And then what about this? What? Another relay tower. Alright. Alright, great ammo and weaponry. worried about a plate at the moment. Now this gas mask will come in handy at some point. Here in the forest everything is pretty good but some areas there is a certain amount of air pollution or pollutants I should say in the air that can cause airborne diseases or affect your health and wearing a gas mask will mitigate that. So it is good to keep one around, or you will find various helmets that will also aid with that, like the fireman's helmet. But again, that's going to be way past our beginner's walk through where we will primarily be here in the forest. More ammo. I'm going to leave that rib cage, and then here is military ammo bag, which will give us ballistic fiber, which will be a very important crafting component for armor mods. And I believe we've got the perimeter looted. Here's the terminal. We're not going to use it at this point, but it will have some uses later on. And 
let's go ahead and take a lap around the outside. Some glowing fungus and brain fungus. Always good for soups. Uh, find that dumpsters are occasionally lootable. That one does not appear to be. So, there's the circuit. And I did see, let's go investigate this trailer. Just like buses, sometimes the back of these trailers can give some valuable loot, just not this time. All right. Well, that pretty much is our circuit. Let's see where we are at. We did see, remember our note about under the porch the house to the south so let's follow this road along and see if we see that house that they were talking about and then we'll cross the bridge back into, back into Flatwoods some footsteps could just be rad stags but could also be other creatures let's see if this is our I see some balloons As detected, what? Let's see if this is the porch. I see a silt bean, but I see no duffel. At least from here. Yes, this was our, uh, I guess this raider had regenerated. But that's okay. Excellent opportunity to scrap and craft, do some more weapons crafting. Scrap all our junk. I'm going to keep that gas mask. Can't equip it if we want. It's really not necessary at this point. I'm going to go ahead and scrap this revolver and hope for a mod. Scrap this raider leg and hope for a mod. Nope. Sell, 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 sell. So we have two level five rifles. Scrap this one. All right. So. I do 
hope after Jimmy returns soon with more lemons. Oh, well, then this is new. Let's have this conversation. Oh, we can trade. Let's do that and lighten the load. So. Fresh lemonade for sale. All proceeds go to the Master Jimmy Foundation. Support your local delinquent today. <laughs> Jimmy returns soon with more lemons. We've gotten a few complaints with the new formula. All right. Looks like plenty to sell. Then... Get your lemonade, yeah. Maybe you see where we're at on the food and drink. Gain us a little health. And let's see where we're at. This fix that. Never seems to end. Foundation might be coming along, but we got a lot more work to do. Where are we on our effects? Still well rested and still well tuned. I'm gonna say let's go ahead and rest. We're only four minutes away, and I hate so to miss that buff. Those thorn bushes. Watch out! You never know when a raider might attack. It's just about time to eat. snooping around they're gonna regret it okay well, we'll see if we can spot that clothes. house really muddy. and make our way back to that's time to turn over a new leaf restore this land of glory house so there's a little house to the north It's a long drop. Guess we'll have to follow the road back down. Let's just do that. It's hard work making a living out here. We'll go ahead and see if we have some. Brahmin milk. Help with the rads and our thirst. And as you can see, it does spoil fairly fast, quickly. So, really, no sense in hoarding. Good. And back down the road we go.
Back down to Flatwoods. That'll come in very handy. Can build our own instruments now. Sure wish my regular character had found that plan. That's uh, when we build our camp. It'll be very helpful. Uh oh. just yet. Oh. Be careful, watch for Investigate this. Oh, ammo converter. This must be so. Okay, someone's camp is here. Interesting. Like a bit of a gun battle here. Hate to pass up good loot. Sorry, I kind of went through the can read that cultist propaganda later if we wish. Looks like oh. it might rain later. Hey. Easy there. Alright, that car is no, all yours. Be gone to shit. The rich gonna be poor? Here. Find ourselves back in Flatwood. And this is where I'm gonna call it a video this is our exit if you like this how about a like how about a subscribe and we'll pick up with our episode 7 with our regular character thank you mr. test pilot character for getting us this far